So when I put on my wig on my dress, like, I'm ready to go save the world. How many of you want to be a mermaid when you grow up? For me, I think Drag Queen Story Hour is just... I'm ready to go save the world. first heard about it I was just like where can I sign up and I was part of the first few girls who started drag queen story hour in New York City so when I put on my wig on my dress like I'm ready to go save the world how many of you want to be a mermaid when you grow up for me I think drag queen story hour is just I'm ready to go save the world such a natural fit it's like one of those ideas that's just so good that I'm shocked that no one had thought of it sooner so what do you think a drag queen is a queen of dragons. We really are. We entertain, we lip sync, we are funny. We're like clowns, but prettier. And I get to hang out with people like you. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I, this is not gonna be a scripted video. Uh, I debated touching on this for a little while, but why? 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 What? What more do you want? Dead ass. What more do you want? I'm a Christian. I'm a conservative. Um my thing is like i'm gonna condemn your lifestyle everyone else that follows the same biblical principles that align with my life is going to condemn your lifestyle but guess what the same way i have free will and autonomy given to me by the lord so were you lgbtq community so were you granted with the same gift of free will will gift and a curse right so if you want to go commit sexual debauchery in your own home go for it i'm gonna pray for you but that's between you and god the same way my actions and everyone else's actions are between me and god but still as a christian being the salt and the light of the earth it is still my duty to witness and to engage with people that are living in sin. Um, why does everyone have to know? That is what I can't wrap my head around. Why does the whole world have to know what you do with your butt? You feel me? For what purpose? Why are you naked in the middle of the street? Why are you reading stories to children? Showing something unnatural, objectively unnatural, a man acting and dressing and pretending to be a woman. Why? You got what you wanted. It's legal. Go in your bedroom with whoever and go do what you want to do. It's not my soul. It's not my life. It's not my afterlife. I don't want you to do those things. 
I'll witness to you when the time comes. But to force everybody, the overwhelming majority of the population, into acceptance and to tolerance, why? What rights do you not have? What things can you not do? What can you not accomplish? There's no oppression. You get celebrated for existing. Nobody's against you. You are a vocal minority that gets whatever handed to them in society because of these satanic agendas pushing the unnatural on, on the world at large, but definitely more so the Western, the Western world. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's not rational. I can't wrap my head around it. Why? I, it has to be forced in media. I have, it has to be just, just take the, the, the handle of a jackhammer and just shove it down our throats in media, video games, movies, shows. Why? Why do you have to indoctrinate kids? Why do kids have to accept it? If you want to go do whatever with your butt, go do whatever with your butt. Why does everybody else have to care? Because I don't. I do not care. But it becomes a problem when just because I don't want to see it, just because I don't care, just because I don't want to look at it, I don't want to have people that are involved in that in my circle of friends. Why is that a problem? Why is it criminal if I don't want to conform to your uh your asinine language of changing pronouns don't talk to me then i more than likely don't want to talk to you anyways i don't get it and i think majority of people don't either it's like you don't want tolerance you want superiority. You're just narcissists. You're all narcissists. You think that you're so important and you matter so much. Your wishes and desires matter so much that everybody else has to change. It, like, forget the possibility of you just being abnormal and strange. Everybody else is the problem. Society is the problem. Something unnatural and an abomination from the beginning of the creation of this world. Something that's been unnatural. Oh, we're the problem. We're on default settings, so we're in the wrong. Where do you people get off? Like, again, what anybody, I listen, everybody in this world, every adult, every taxpayer, Every autonomous human being living in the United States and, and, and in Europe and whatever. We have our own things going on. We have our own families. We have our own friends. We have our own jobs. We have our own bills. We have our own relationships. We have our own interests. We like our own movies, our own subgenres and niches. I'm into powerlifting. I'm into anime. I'm into video games. Some people are into welding and and planting and cooking right so everybody has their own stuff going on you have the autonomy to make your own decisions you are an adult you are a human being what you do in your bedroom doesn't affect me i don't give a damn most people don't 99 percent of people don't care why are you forcing people to care? I'm not committing a crime for not caring. I have my own stuff going on. I'm not a bad person because I'm not gonna celebrate you. I can make my own decisions just as y'all can. So as a whole community of villainizing people for old things that they tweeted on the internet, 
when they were either not adults or when this whole rainbow people stuff was like still frowned upon but the canceling and the the intolerance of people's intolerance you want everybody to accept everything you want them to accept any cuckoldry any sexual debauchery any any man man transgender whatever stuff you want you want everyone to accept you right but when it's your turn to accept the fact that people just don't care it's hell on earth they're horrible people they're bigots they're this and that and the third that's not how that works that is narcissism and you know what's crazy right is that the the flag right all of your logos has the rainbow in it you know what the rainbow means you know what the rainbow means it means judgment isn't that ironic isn't it isn't that kind of funny was god's judgment on the world so you using that as your mascot is is poetic in a way anyways um yeah i just if you are a man that wants to be with the man i can't stop you nobody can stop you if you're a woman that wants to be with a woman nobody can stop you if you want to if you're a man that was to turn yourself into into having female characteristics and then still date women no who, who's who can stop you you can do whatever you want to do i'll see you on judgment day um but the problem comes when i'm the bad person when everyone else that's on default settings are the bad people because we don't ex we don't accept it right it's forced nobody's going to want to do something that's forced people have to celebrate you out of fear of losing their livelihoods because you're all rabid savages that don't care about the skeletons in your own closet and the crimes that you've committed and the horrible things that you may have done to people in the past. But the second somebody that you don't even care about, somebody in somebody that is involved in a field that has nothing to do with any of your interests at all whatsoever, even a little bit, says something not aligning with the way that you view the world, you want to ruin that person's life. Isn't it exhausting caring about everything? How do you have the energy to care about other people's opinions, about other w ways that people view the world? That has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. Alphabet community. Ask him wrap it up for me, bro. Um, the TJ Extra Putin. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you want to subscribe, please hit that button. Appreciate it. Catch y'all the next one. Bye.